Okay, what I have here is an incredibly boring press release. The company today announced an initial unaudited results for the first half of 2021 where overall revenues are expected to... Yeah, very exciting. Um, because of the increase in the, the adjusted EBITD... An EBD... What is this? An EBDITA margin increase, but I have no idea. Oh, we've signed this many customers we've got. Yeah, this is really not very interesting. But, but, if you keep reading right down here... There is a really important paragraph. This year, Imagination, that's the company that supplied the GPUs for Apple's iPhone originally, also supplies GPUs for companies like MediaTek occasionally. This year, Imagination is re-entering the CPU market with designs based around RISC-V. Imagination's heritage in CPU enables it to provide innovative and patent protected technology for the discrete CPU market, as well as addressing demands for heterogeneous solutions that combine CPU, GPU and AI processors. Well, if you want to find out more, please well, let me explain. OK, so I have lots of videos here on this channel about Imagination and their Power VR GPUs. Very, very quickly, Imagination provided Power VR GPUs for Apple for many, many years. A few years back, there was a problem. Apple and Imagination split ways. Uh, Imagination also almost went bankrupt. Uh, they had to get rid of their MIPS CPU department, uh, reorganize and reshuffle. It's still around today, providing Power uh, VR GPU technology to companies like MediaTek. It's got a whole new range of GPUs that it's, that it's launched. There's a promise of ray tracing coming in GPUs. And Apple are still really using Imagination's technology because it's still using tile-based deferred rendering uh, GPUs. And there's a cross-licensing agreement going on. But the important news today is that this company that's well known in the industry wants to get it back into the CPU market, this time using RISC-V. Now, as soon as I heard this, I got in contact with Imagination's PR. Hello, Imagination. Can I ask you some questions about your RISC-V CPUs, please? And the good news is that they were quite forthcoming considering they have nothing to announce just yet and they probably won't announce anything until 2022. But what we do know is this. Already in the Power VR GPUs, there are some RISC-V CPUs, microcontrollers, which they use for the fabric, for controlling what's kind of going on on the buses and all that kind of stuff. And Imagination plan to sell microcontroller-based RISC-V CPU designs to whichever company wants to buy them. But not only that, they want to move up higher up the range, including into high-performance RISC-V CPUs. That means also that it'll be able to run Linux. It means it will be able to possibly could run Android. It means that it will be multi-core. So I'm sure we're going to see single-core, quad-core, dual-core uh, kind of setups. And of course, it also means that they are aiming to work together with their GPU and they've got a history with kind of Wi-Fi stuff. And of course, they can build some AI accelerators and then they can offer a kind of a complete package to an SOC maker or chip maker that wants to design a processor with CPU, GPU, AI networking all built into it. And the markets they're going into, not in this order, but of course, mobile, because that's traditionally where it's been. Automotive's got a very strong presence in automotive. Home entertainment, that would be uh, set-top boxes, smart TVs, and that kind of thing. Also in the data center, it can be used. A lot of their GPUs using the data center just as a simple way of offering, you know, a desktop for a server, which really is worried about, you know, it's really concentrating on the CPU and the memory and the bandwidth and the and the networking. But also these CPUs can be used, you know, even on, on network cards. MIPS historically was used uh, for a lot of networking gear. So they could try to recreate that market now using RISC-V for networking cards inside the data center, Wi-Fi, you know, routers, modems, all this kind of stuff. So the possibilities are there and the company has a history of getting into those markets, but it wants to do it with Risk five. Now, of course, there's lots of competition in this area, and they are keeping quiet about what they're going to do in terms of price, performance, power efficiency, availability, which process node, all that stuff is yet to be announced because this really is a cutthroat business in many ways. But it looks like this is the first time, if I'm honest, I'm kind of going, oh, well, Risk five could be something because if you get a company like Imagination selling their designs to other companies, this is fairly significant. So it's really a case of watch this space 
and let's see what happens. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this quick look at the news that Imagination are going to re-enter the CPU market now using Risk Five. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget you can find me on Twitter at Gary Explains, and I also have a newsletter. Uh, go to GaryExplains.com, type in your email address, just a newsletter, no spam. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.